Uh, BPMN capabilities uh, as compared to uh, some of the other uh, diagramming uh, techniques. You have your, um, your flow chart and uh, the, you have varying degrees of what flow chart can do and you know you have some database shapes and some you know flow shapes that can kind of work down in this area. So you, you just have this kind of a patchwork somewhere in between where there isn't really a, a unified way of going all the way across the spectrum. There's uh, many other uh, diagramming techniques along the way. Uh, XPDL is, uh, is very popular in a lot of the uh, commercial BPM systems because it has a layer to it that allows you to attach technical details to it. One of the problems with XPDL, though, is it leaves a lot of room for vendor-specific extensions, meaning that they'll say, oh, yeah, we use XPDL. So what does that mean? That, well, that means it has an XML framework to it that you attach a whole bunch of other stuff onto and extend it for a specific vendor implementation. So uh, we're, it, it's, not, it's not really, uh, it, it's still based on the older workflow uh, methodology, which I'll get to in just a second. So BPMN uh, has a lot wider range of capability of going all the way down into actual modeling now, uh, about halfway through the data services. You're not going to use it to write code with it down at that level, but it can actually directly generate uh, code uh, for you rather than you having to take a process model and then go generate or uh, go code it. So uh, typically you see BPMN and BPEL are uh, combined together. Uh, BPEL is business process execution language, which is also uh, it's an XML based language.